to earthquakes in Nepal has left more than 8,000 dead, 17,000 injured, nearly 3 million displaced and more than 4 million people affected. Nepal was brought tumbling down through a series of disasters beyond its control. The collapse of buildings may have ceased for now. But the lives of Nepal's residents remain at risk with the deluge of health consequences now facing them. Jesse Hartness, Director of Emergency Health and Nutrition at Save the Children said the first priority is immediate medical services for trauma care, surgeries and wounds such as broken bones, spinal injuries and head injuries. But this crucial starting point was made difficult by teens finding 90% of remote health facilities destroyed. Hartness added risk of mortality increases within the first 24 hours if people aren't treated immediately. But as aid agencies rushed to those caught in the rubble, their attention was needed simultaneously by others now finding themselves homeless, in need of shelter, and at risk of a multitude of health consequences, including malnutrition and infection.